Paul must make a new dish based on the sea bream he used in the last round. Tell me what your dish is, please, Paul. It's a sea bream sausage um, with uh, the goat's cheese in the sausage. And what, what sauce were you thinking of serving with it? I think I'm going to go for um, a walnut and blue cheese sauce. Right, more cheese? Yeah. Cheese and cheese? No big hoops this no, time? No, no big hoops uh, this time. I'll just keep it simple and concentrate purely on the flavour. Righto. Right now, Paul's put with the whole fish in a blender with an egg and some goat cheese. Excellent. He's serving that, though, with a blue cheese and walnut sauce. A combination I've never had before. I am frightened. Paul, up you come, please. Paul has used the sea bream from his original dish with goat's cheese to make a seafood sausage and is serving it with a blue cheese and walnut sauce. I have to tell you, Paul, I am pretty apprehensive about this. Fish and two cheeses, including blue cheese. I tell you what, if this works, you are either a magician or very, very lucky indeed. Incredibly, it's not horrendous because you can't taste the fish. You are a magician. You made the fish disappear from the fish sausage. You make a very nice blue cheese sauce. But I don't really want to eat blue cheese and fish, Paul. Um, I've had to eat a lot of really sort of weird stuff in my life here on MasterChef, but this is right up my top ten. You had cheese and fish in your calling card round, and you went cheese and fish well, again we, this time. Obviously got a thing for us. <laughs> I could have done things slightly differently, I suppose, and, and not had the cheese in there, but I would have had to have thought of something else, and in, in the given time, I just didn't. Yeah, you did well, guys. I, th I, think, I think we've all done okay again, haven't we, really? The problem I've got is I disagree that fish and cheese yeah. don't go together. I, <laughs> I was really impressed with Mark's calling card dish. I thought the ravioli was excellent. I was very disappointed with Mark's reinvention, that samosa. Not a great deal of flavour, and they weren't cooked properly. But I do like the inventiveness. I find Paul's combination of cheese and fish a little troubling, and he's now done it twice. Technically, he made a boudin, and made a very good blue sauce. He fillets the fish, he does demonstrate skill. But there is the issue of combination, it's a risk. I appreciate what they're saying about the flavour combinations and, and that's fine if that's what puts me out then um, I'll, I'll accept that, of course. Two of you are going to join Emma and Ranveer and one of you is leaving the competition. The contestant leaving us is Paul. Thank you, Paul. It's a shame. Um, if I'd have maybe chose a, a different combination, I might like have gone through. Well, it's fair to say that my, my dish tomorrow was a, a, a fish and cheese dish again. 